So this is just a quick tutorial on how to do the involute of a circle. And this is for um, component four of the engineering drawing module. So in this, I'm asking you to draw a circle of diameter um, 60 mil. So obviously the radius is 30 uh, mil. So I've drawn the circle already. What I want to do, first of all, is divide the circle into um, 12 equal parts. So as if you were cutting a, a pizza into different 12 slices, that's basically what I'm doing here. So I have my point from where I made the, the circle, where the compass was, so I know exactly where the center is. And I'm just coming across with a horizontal and vertical line. And now what we can do is use the um, 30 and 60. So in this case, I'm using the 60 to divide this circle up. That and then the 30 degrees. Okay, so that's it divided into uh, 12 equal sections just using your set square, the 3060 set square. So the next thing is, is we want to make a tangent to all these lines. Um, so how we're going to do that. So a tangent is a line that touches a circle at one particular point. So if we come perpendicular to all these lines, it will only be touching these, uh, these lines at one place and therefore touching the circle at one place. So for example, this line at the bottom, I'm just drawing a horizontal line coming across like that. And I know that's a tangent to that point or uh, it's perpendicular to this line and therefore uh, tangential to that point. I can come here and I know that this is another line. So it's perpendicular. So we know perpendicular, it's at 90 degrees to the line. So I'm gonna go and do that process next. Okay, so as you can see, I've made the tangents to all the different arcs in this circle. So all together, there's 12 uh, tangents. So I just want to show, give an example of how you're actually finding the tangents. So for example, here, this line is just vertical and vertical. Uh, for the other ones, you'll find that the, it's 90 degrees. In this case, where it is at 30 degrees. So it's easy to get those tangents. But remember, it has to be 90 degrees meeting this line. And for the likes of this one here, you're using both set squares. You're lining up uh, with the lines. So you're exactly with the same angle of the line, okay? And then you're sliding. Um, you're sliding one set square on the other to bring up that line like so. And then all you're doing is marking like that there. So that's where you're using the two set squares together to find uh, the angle of a line. So in this case, it's not a case of just eyeing it up with the set square and saying, okay, that's 90 degrees. You have to make sure with using both set squares. So that's that. So the next step is marking our lengths. So how we do this is we're marking the perimeter of the circle. So I'm just measuring this distance here. So the distance of one arc. And I obviously know that if I'm to make this 12 times, that that's going to be the total perimeter uh, of the circle. So I'm going to mark this 12 times. And I'm going to label. one and 12 and I'm going to continue this step so with the next one obviously it's 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 the whole way around and then I'm just going to show how we actually make the involute then uh, at the end 
So as you can see, I've labeled all the different arcs. We went from 12 to 11 down the whole way around to one and they're all tangential. So I marked all these using the compass. Uh, as you can see at the top here, I'm nearly going over the page. So if I had a border here, it would actually be going over it. So I'd have to start the drawing again. So just make sure when you're drawing the circle that you have it down a certain distance because as you can see, it's coming quite high up uh, on the page. So what I can do now is I have all the points, so it's only a matter of actually producing the involute now. So starting here at the very beginning, I'm extending out to 12. Like this. So that's at 12 and I'm extending that out to intersect the line. And then moving here. And extending on and you'll notice as I go the whole way around it's going to make uh, this involute at the end so if I continue step by step so come in here so where that that arc is and then continuing on the whole way around and so on so as you can see I've just finished off the involute here and I just highlighted it with a with a fine liner just to outline exactly the involute so um that's just the step to create the involute of a circle and that is uh for component four